Hi, I'm Spence and this is Janine with a, where we work with Account Teams in Salt Lake City on helping people with their books and uh, helping them so they can concentrate on what they do best uh, rather than all the book work. I'm going to talk to you today about uh, sales receivables turnovers. You, you may think this is uh, something you wouldn't pay much attention to, but let me give you a good example. Suppose that uh, you're at a restaurant and you're selling meals at the restaurant. People pay with cash or with a credit card. You receive the money the day you give them the goods and your receivables are very good. There's a one day turnover, maybe only an hour turnover on that. On the other hand, you may be a little carpenter and you're doing work for general contractors and he doesn't pay you until he gets paid. And there's 10 other contractors that do the work for him. And if one of those guys doesn't do a good job or the owner doesn't like it, he won't pay the general contractor and the general contractor may not pay you. Sometimes th these can last a half year to a year and then your receivables turnovers look very, very bad because you're strung out with your money a long time. Uh, sales or receivables turnover is uh, how quickly people pay you. It is the net revenues divided by your accounts receivable.